Oh my God. Nerve DJ? We break your tracks, not your stacks. interview with DJ Squirt on UrbanCityRadioStation.com, baby. What? You don't know say Damn nerve DJs. <laughs> yes. Why? Because I'm a nerve DJ. I'm the vice president of the Southeast, and I live in ATL, baby. Ooh. Hey, now. Hey, now. Ah, guess what, y'all? <laughs> I got a new boyfriend. Ooh. You talking about me? Yes, darling, yes. Hold on, hold on, hold on. And he is so freaking cute. His name is Drippy Global. Who? What? My name is Squirt. His name is Drippy. We gonna have some fun. <laughs> hey, boo. What's up, baby? How are you? You know what I'm saying? Oh, Seven is hot cocoa. Gotta put a low low, you know what I'm saying? You are so, so cute. Ah, I like him, y'all. Okay, look, boo. <laughs> She's silly, isn't it? <sighs> you cute, but everybody knows you have to follow the rules to have a DJ sport interview. You ready? What's that consist of? Oh, 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 here we go. We gotta run through these rules or we cannot do this interview. Let me hear it. <laughs> I like the song. <laughs> so anticipating. It gets me all excited. Okay, here we go. Rule number one. When you enter this studio, because literally you are on the screen in the studio, you belong to DJ Squirt. Yes, ma'am. You cool? Are you cool? <laughs> okay. Oh, you taking a yes, minute, John. Yeah, you already know. You already know I'm rocking with you. I'm yours. You already know. I, I thought I was First gonna time, have to fight. Follow the rules and be respectful. Yes, ma'am. I love yes, it. I thought I was gonna have to fight somebody. I am a fighter. But anyway, rule number two. Now that we're in this beautiful relationship, oh, any girlfriend, hoochie mama, baby mama. Wife, I don't care who she is. You better send a smoke signal. I don't care how you do it, but you need to break up with her. All right. Yeah. yeah. Whatever you say. Well, I like when you call. Awesome. It. Floor, right? you okay. All right. All right. Good. <laughs> so now that we're in this beautiful relationship, darling, we must get to know each other. Okay. And getting to know each other, I'm going to give you a couple of tips about DJ Squirt. DJ Squirt has a voice fetish. Mm. Oh. She loves voices. It makes her happy. That's your superpower over me, okay? Second tip. She likes them really tall. How tall are you? Five seven. Five seven? Oh, well you must really be talented to get away with anything if you're not six feet. But we're gonna work with you because you're too cute. <laughs> So here we go. I want to make sure that we get into a disagreement that um, we can still get along and you can make me happy. Everyone knows if the woman is not happy in a relationship, it's not a good relationship. Mm. All right, here we go. I'm going to read you a story at the end of the scenario of the story. I need you based on the tips that I provided, the things that make me happy. I need you to tell me how you're going to make me happy. You ready? Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Ready. We, took a, we took a weekend away, Drippy. Two nights, three days, in a cabin on the hill. <laughs> Anything you can think of, boo, we did that. Whoop, whoop. 
We did it. Ooh, anything. All right. End of the weekend. It's the third day. We're both bosses. We got to make our money. We got to get back to work. Time to go. Weekend's over. <sighs> but guess what? We're stuck. We are stuck in this cabin. Or break down. Because it's 20 feet of snow outside and we can't go nowhere. Your girlfriend done got an attitude. You're stuck in this cabin with me with an attitude and that's not a good thing. Hmm. I've been acting funky all day, rolling my eyes with you, not giving you no type of body language, no fun. You are sick of me. So this is the scene. And we're sitting on a bearskin rug in front of the fireplace, but I'm still acting funny. So, oh, and I don't have any clothes on. But I'm playing hard to get, Trippy. Mm. So you need to tell me, describe it using your voice, what you're going to do at this point to make me happy. Mm. Shit. Well, my phone, man. Girl, here, my phone. I got to go. I'm about to, I, I got to get it out of here. I'm just... But before I go, before I go, I'm gonna, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna, I'm gonna give me a little something, something. You know what I'm saying? A little glass of hot chocolate. You know what I'm saying? Okay. Get my feet rubbed, smoke a blunt. I'm out the door. Because Shorty calling, I gotta go. You know what I'm saying? She's gonna dip fuck. on me. Oh, we gonna break up. <laughs> Come on, Drippy. You supposed to be keeping this relationship together. <laughs> What I'm gonna do to make you happy is, you know what I'm saying? I'm gonna, you know I'm gonna, I'm gonna rub some of that wine, roll some of that good weed. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna rub, rub up on you, fill up on you. Then I'm gonna, I'm gonna sing that drippy shit. You know what I'm saying? I know you, I know you like to, you know, the vibe out to, 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 to a young boy voice. You know what I'm saying? What you gonna say to me? Just give me some sexy words, drippy. What you gonna say? I'm naked. You can say anything. What you gonna say? Like, uh, uh, uh. With the uh, uh, I'm a blessing. Eat that cookie for breakfast. You're okay. so special. I'm gonna love you forever. Eat that. Take you to a new level. Yeah. When we get, and yeah, we fly you know like what? pets. You know yeah. what? Them bitches jealous. I think that'll work, Drippy. Little so so. That'll work, okay. Little well, guess me. what, Drippy? You have now been squirtified. You, 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 you have just been squirtified. Oh, there we go. All right, all right. Thank you for playing my little madness. It's just kind of fun. <laughs> you, know, you know what I'm saying? A yeah. little bit about yourself. All right, that is dope. What I need for you to do for me really quick, darling, please go ahead and give out your social media so our audience can follow you. Uh, uh, Instagram, Facebook iTunes, Spotify, everything you need to know. Just search Drippy Global. I'm the only Drippy Global in the world. Just me. It's just me and you. You got just that branding together, baby. You got yeah, that branding baby. together. Only one in the world. It's just I'm me and you, baby. No. Fire pit lit. You got a dope track, too, Joe. You got a really dope track. I, I do Thank play you. that on my station right now. All right, let's get into this radio interview. Number one, urbancityredstation.com is about bringing people together, showing them who you are, what you're made of, so that you can be a positive inspiration to someone else. Our kids are killing themselves, Drippy. We have control over this and we can do it. Music is ritualistic, okay? Thanks. I like to share who you really are, what you've been through, your challenges, struggles, and some of your successes to be that inspiration to someone else. I used to say kids, but I know some 50 year olds that can learn from some 10 year olds. So now I say everybody, okay? And that's true, that's facts. All right, so let's get into this boo. Let's see, let's see who Drippy Global is. He mine number one, but let's get to the real deal. Here we go. <laughs> Question number one, boo. What city and state are you from? I'm from Zanesville, Ohio. Hey. Zanesville, Ohio. Okay. Luck okay. Avenue, you know what I'm saying? Okay. Representing, you know what I'm saying? You have a nice voice. Thank you. Okay. I appreciate it. You know, be sure to send me some drops, okay? So I can listen to you. <laughs> All right, question number two. How many siblings did you grow up with in the household? Two. Two. Mm -hmm. I got a magic question. What number child are you? 
I'm the second child. <gasps> Guess what? Mama's second baby. Hey, I'm now I am a nerd. I study people. All of my interviews, I study these people and I follow them through. The people that have become successful, I have found to be the oldest, the middle, or the only child. Never the baby, because of positions in the family in which they grew up. Hmm. Facts. You have really satisfied my theory. Hey, now. All right, I like that. I like middle babies. Hmm. Okay. <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> so you grew up with mom and dad in the home, or just mom? Just mom. Just mom? That's I had a stepdad. I had a stepdad, um, but it was like, not like, oh, like, I don't know, it was like on and off, you know what I'm saying? So it was a late. support of, he was there. Okay. He was always there, yeah, yeah, facts, yeah. but it was, gotcha. to me, I don't know, I just grew up different. That's all right. Different. Well, you grown now. You you gotta learn how to work that out, right? Or don't, <laughs> or yeah. not. You know what I'm saying? Okay, because I got some or not <laughs> now. Anywho, <laughs> okay. In your childhood in the neighborhood of Zanesville, Ohio, how would you describe school? How was it for you? Uh, school. My well, school was cool. It just was like, like it was in the hood, and that's, that's all right. Uh, it was Munson Elementary School. It's like in the middle of it. It was in the middle of the hood, um, mm -hmm. off of Mead Street. That's like where all the geekers and shit be at shooting up. And Ooh. then you got you got Luck, which is like two minutes from me. That's another little area like that, like wild area. Rough, you got, rough side of town there. Yeah, Ridge, all that. So okay. it's like you either like I don't know, you fighting, you doing the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? Some yeah, a lot some, of people, some people don't even go to school. They ain't even go to school. <laughs> yeah, but you, <laughs> you did finish? Yeah, yeah, facts. Okay, good. Okay. Facts. So you got along? Did you have any bullying issues? Did you fight a lot? Anything you want to share? I got in a lot of fights, but I ain't, I, ain't, I ain't never get like, I never had a bullying issue. Like I never bullied nobody. No one's ever tried to bully me. I just, mm -hmm. I don't know. I was always like a cool kid. So I just, but I always was cool with everybody. Okay, so it's not too bad of experience. You you did finish. That's awesome. Okay, cool. Oh, thank you, thank you, thank you. I ask all artists this question because there's always something, an, an event, um, an experience, um, an admiration, um, something that took place to make you love music to do what you're doing. Do you have a special event that you want to share? Uh, well. What really made me love music is like when I was a little kid, um, me and my cousin uh, Dre, he he's doing life in prison now. Like we, he got this karaoke machine for Christmas, and um, <laughs> we used to like we would like uh, uh, like freestyle and rap the songs, like try to freestyle. You know what I'm saying? Like uh, like dress up like. He might dress up like Master P. I dress up as Silta Shocker or some shit. Ah, like, okay. <laughs> we like we like do the karaoke to the song like with the instrumental and the tapes and shit. Mm -hmm. And then like I don't know, it just the way it made me feel, it just always made me happy as hell. So okay. then I got older, mm -hmm. and then I just uh, me and my homies, we was we had a group in high school. It was called Rock Squad. Who was okay. there? We had a little okay. show. And shit. It was like four hundred people came. So oh, that's a lot for your friend. How yeah, old were you then? How old? It was like 17, 16, okay. 16, 17. Okay. So they was all like, "Yeah, you should keep rapping, bro." I'm like, "Nah, man, I'm trying." You know what I'm saying? I'm about to go to college. I'm, I was trying to be a nurse. I was about to be a nurse. For real. See, I'm a need a nurse. <laughs> Damn, or I like. Need a I need a nurse. I know who I am pretty soon. I was trying to be a nurse and got caught with a weed grinder, kicking me out. So I went to Akron University and shit. So. Okay. Aww. But I did so, finish college somewhere else though. But anyway, carry on. Okay. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. So you did finish college. Now that's awesome. That tells a lot about you. That tells a lot. Okay. Yeah. Um, I got a special request. What's that? Do a rap for me. Okay. I Give got you. Um, <laughs> let me think of something real quick. Um, <clears throat> uh, 
<clears throat> uh, goes, uh, a folk plus a stove equals money. I want a milli, let's run it. My niggas hungry, we want it. B12 outside and it's running. Remember days they didn't love me. And now though my drippy looks sunny. So she want my dick in the tummy. Saying she love me, I know that bitch. Remember days we weren't able to put that food on the table. Now we got pigs in the stable. We really plugged in with the cables. I call up my essay, I'm thankful. Keep shipping them packs of some red food. We mobbing, we kicked out the neighbors. Drippy, this money done changed you. I stick up a bank for that money. Ooh, okay, 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 Ooh. okay. <laughs> no sticking up bank, Drippy. <laughs> Awesome. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta paint the picture like it's the the the, the, the motive behind it was like you gotta do. Sometimes yeah, you gotta, gotta go against yeah. all odds to, to 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 get to where you gotta be. You I get it. I, I'm not arguing with it. And Thanks. your truth, your truth is what we want to see. So it don't matter. Look. Yeah, I wouldn't stick up a bank unless I had oh. to though. Me too. <laughs> okay, so funny. look. <laughs> unless I had to, right? So look. <laughs> I like the way you said that. So look. <laughs> What have you done so far with this music, Drippy? What have you accomplished? Um, my first feature was with uh, West Coast legend Glasses Malone. Okay. Uh, uh, it was with him, and um, that really was like inspirational, just because the the game and the feedback he gave me on myself. Like, um, I did a feature with Black Youngster. That was dope. Okay. <laughs> uh, me and Doobie uh, did a dope record. Oh, um, Doobie, he's in a nurse too. He's from yeah, I, uh, Columbus. Columbus, yeah, right up the yep. roads. Mm -hmm. I knew his DJ for like 15 years. So mm -hmm. they actually put me on my first national tour with Doobie. So oh, that was actually dope. dope. Yeah, that okay. was dope. Um, Those experiences that build you, yes. Yeah, and then I did the, I did a show. I opened up for Young Dolph. So what? that was. That was dope. That was actually real dope. And then, you gotta let me know. I got the million dollar question for you. We run out a little bit of time. We got like cool. five more minutes. So look, uh, where was I? Okay, so with this game, now you got this, you know, you got the little business side down, you got a little education on you, got some experience. What- BET Awards play? too. Oh, you did the BET Awards? Yeah, yep. Yeah. As a talent guest, I did the BET Awards. Awesome. Okay, so look. What at what point in this game will you consider yourself successful? What has to take place for you to say, I did it? I feel like you're not successful until like in the rap industry until you're getting like consistent bookings, you're hitting. Mm -hmm. At least to me, I feel like 300,000 streams, I meant views or streams would be successful because that's a lot of streams for an indie artist, like with with no, um, which we all get to the point where we get a major push, but with yeah. no major push, it's right. like, if you can do that before the major push, you're already yeah. like, you're already good to me. Exactly, consistent exactly, bookings, that's how they see you. Yeah. Numbers, numbers, consistent bookings and numbers. That's, okay. There you go, there you go. Real yep. engagement. I, there you go. Like in front of a fireplace with no clothes on, sipping on wine. You're you're doing pretty good though. You're you're featuring and opening. You got connections. You're communicating. You're engaging. You're performing. That is amazing, and that's getting that ball rolling. Once that ball really gets to rolling, you got to keep it rolling. So keep that insight and keep on point. Once you get that ball really, really rolling, you better not forget about me. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> so no, I never. Um, I'm saying I'm standing. <laughs> okay, so. Nerve oh, DJs, nerve we don't play that. You know, a whole bunch of dope people that are already out here has been through Nerve DJs and our man, head, head, and head, head tours. Yes. Head, what's up, yes. man? Yes. What's up? I always tease him. I call him my BD. Cheating on me? <laughs> no, I said I call him that. Don't worry about it, but we good. Don't worry about it. <laughs> okay, so look. <laughs> Thank you so much for sitting down with me, taking the time, because I know you've been very busy. We have been back and forth, busy, busy, back and forth, and we finally got this locked in. Give me a shout out. Give me something great that you want to say to inspire others to be successful and in your journey of being successful. Man, just stay focused. Stay away from the negative lanes that ain't got nothing going. You can't, you can't get money and be successful being around people that ain't doing it trying to exactly. do the same thing, you know what I'm saying? So 
Yeah. You got to stay focused, uh, yeah. stay out of trouble, mm -hmm. uh, stack your money because mm -hmm. you can't do nothing without no money. Mm -mm. And shout out DJ Squirt, she made it work. You know what I'm saying? Thank you, baby. And if uh, you run across her, make sure you tap in. She legit. She a hundred. She uh, she checked up on you the whole nine. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. She makes you very comfortable. Um, and honestly, like nobody wants to reach out and uh, interview or work with people that they don't think have a dope craft. So like, exactly. Stick with, stick mm -hmm. with it, and your time will come. Cause I'm still trying. You know what I'm saying? You would like to be too. So respect. Aw, thank you, know you boo. I be reeling them in. He's like a kid. <laughs> All right, y'all. It's been another dope ass interview with DJ Squirt at UrbanCityRedStation.com. Shout out to them damn their DJs. Make sure that you follow Drippy Global, Drippy Global on every platform that there is at Drippy Global. He is down with the nerve DJ, baby. And we do this. We uh, do more and we do it better. Hey, now. So uh, it's been another dope interview. <sighs> Good night, Gorgeous. Yeah, I got haters, but they don't stress me. Say they got problems with Dane to dress me. Don't come with your hands. Me and y'all. All right, all right, fool. Say good night. Stretch it out for me. Stretch it out for me. Stretch it out for me. Yeah, I got haters. Dirty, 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 dirty. Yeah, I got haters, but they don't stress me. Say they got problems with Dane to dress me. Don't come with that flexion, no question. Whip is gonna be from a whip or the rest. Stretch it out for me, 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 stretch it out for me.